Leg tuck. Complete as many leg tucks as possible. Maintain a relative vertical posture while moving the hips and knees up and down without excessive swinging. Hold the bar with an alternating grip, legs off the floor. From a straight arm position, pull the body up until the knees touch the elbows. Return to the starting straight arm position. The latissimus dorsi extends the arm. The abdominal muscles stabilize the pelvis and flex the spine. The hip flexors pull the legs. The biceps brachii, brachialis, and brachioradialis flex the elbow. This exercise is considered difficult for several reasons. The first reason is that the movement involves many joints and muscles. The second reason for the difficulty in performing the exercise is the heavy load on the abdominal muscles. On the one hand, the abdominal muscles flex the spine and they also stabilize the pelvis. Raising the knees activates the hip flexors, which pull the pelvis and tilt it anteriorly. In addition, pulling the body up activates the latissimus dorsi, which also pulls the pelvis and creates anterior pelvic tilt. In other words, the abdominal muscles must be strong in order to stabilize the pelvis and also flex the spine. Note that this exercise requires normative spinal flexion ability. Normative means uniform, integrative, flexion of the vertebrae and creation of a sequential arch. In this test of seated flexion, we see a deficient sequential arch in the lumbar vertebrae, which is usually caused by structural rigidity or shortened muscles, such as in the quadratus lumborum. This deficiency does not allow exercisers to flex the spine and bring the knees to reach the elbows even if the muscles are very strong.